Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that your sliding glass door is becoming harder and harder to open and close, it may be as simple as cleaning the track and lubricating the lower roller wheels. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers, here we are at the sliding glass door and our speed's out to our deck. And in the event that you are having trouble sliding your glass door open and closed, there's a lot of tension or the door feels a lot heavier than it is. We're gonna show you a little DIY hack that you can do and this is not a permanent fix. It will basically buy you maybe six months before you have to actually replace your lower rollers. One on the left side, one on the right side. And take a look at your track. Chances are, if you have not cleaned it in the last year, it's full of dirt, debris, maybe some bugs, maybe some dust and lint. And this is the stationary panel. That will never open. However, when I come to the door that opens, ours is tough to open, and this portion of the track will always, always be dirtier. Why? Because that's where you come in and out, tracking on your shoes, boots, or whatever. Dirt, mud, grime, snow, ice, grass, etc. So what we are going to do is clean the tracks. Maybe get some paper towel and wet it with some water. And again, clean the tracks. However, what I will do before that, I'll grab my vacuum and get as much of that out of the track as possible with a vacuum prior to moving on to the paper towel. I went ahead and closed the door and vacuumed the stationary track or stationary panel portion. And what we're going to do is transition to the wet paper towel. And again, just clean the track. Get as much of the grime, dust, lint, dirt, bugs, etc., out of there. Clean these tracks as best as possible. Because over time, look at that, what happens when this track gathers all of the items I just mentioned? Well, your rollers pick up on that. And chances are our rollers are full of dirt, grime, bugs, whatever. So the cleaner the track, the less likely your rollers are going to become harder to rotate and roll. Make a progress. That portion is done. Now to the really dirty side. As you can see, the wires check that out. Again, the dirtier these become, my goodness. This is basically our spring cleaning time. We do this every spring. Again, clean the tracks as best as you can. Make a progress. It's not perfectly clean, but it is a lot cleaner than what it was. And you can see I've got some pinning in the lower aluminum frame, and you're not gonna be able to get that out. That's basically the corrosion that is eaten away into the aluminum. Again, pitting. And as I use that wet paper towel, I've got some clumps of dust. I'm going to vacuum out each side of the track. After you vacuum it out, I grabbed a dry piece of paper towel and I'm going to dry the track as best I can. And I may be able to get just a little bit more of the stuck dirt or debris off of there as you can see not as bad as what it was a little bit ago also clean either side and on top of this center portion here taking a step back in DIYs you can go one of two ways at this point I'm going to ask you to unlatch your lock open your door about a quarter of an inch and you want to check the space from the frame and the door and the space should be the exact same quarter inch ish from the bottom all the way up to the top if you are a quarter inch open up here and you look down and your bottom portion of your door isn't even open or showing a space or it's about a half inch open in other words it's not the same space as up top you've got an adjustment issue and to adjust your rollers come on down here and it looks like the previous owner put a piece of white tape on it. Right here is the access port 
for your adjustment screw for your rollers. And the tape is there probably because the previous owner may have damaged the cap. In your case, hopefully your cap is still there and you can just use a pick tool or fingernail to pop that cap off and gain access to the inner Phillips screw that again, you can rotate to adjust your rollers. And by turning the screw counterclockwise, you will actually pull the rollers up into the bottom portion of the frame. In other words, they will go up, not down. If you turn it clockwise, the rollers will go down. So again, if you are offset, you may just need to adjust your rollers. However, up to this point, it's extremely important to have a clean track. And let's open the door. On this side, you can actually see our cap. So again, just pop that cap off, gain access to the adjustment screw, and adjust the door or rollers to a point where your space is the exact same from the bottom all the way up to the top. Taking another step back in DIYers in the event that you adjust your lower rollers and you are still having a tough time sliding your glass door open and closed, well, it's on a plan B. Again, not permanent, but it will help. We are going to go grab some dish soap and ever so slightly lubricate the inner track here. And over the next few days of that dish soap, making contact to your inner rollers, it's hopefully gonna help break up and re-lubricate those rollers because again, if you've not cleaned this track, chances are your rollers are caked with debris. Nothing fancy, just some Dawn dish soap as shown here. Again, ever so slightly lubricating the inner track. And I'll put just a drop and a thin line on either side. I'm not going to go the entire way down. From here, I'll use my hand to lubricate the track. And go all the way down. Got a paper towel, I'll clean my finger. And a little bit back here. And I'll clean up any excess on the upper inner frame there, on either side. And from here, you can open and close your door a couple times to again, re-lubricate those rollers. Now to the portion where you walk in and out and I have lubricated that portion of the track. And again, from here, just open and close your door. And I can tell already a significant difference. Wow. And what I recommend from here is maybe about three to five days maximum of opening and closing this door on your normal daily routine. And after that, come in with a dry paper towel and wipe any and all dish soap residue from the inner track because its purpose is over. We've already lubricated the inner rollers. That's the whole purpose of putting the dish soap in the track. However, if you leave that dish soap in the track, well, it will gather a whole bunch of grime and dirt a lot easier or more than if you didn't have it there. And DIYers, before we wrap the video up, I will be very honest, this blaster white lithium grease will work so much better and last so much longer than your household dish soap. However, most people don't have this. And down below in the comment section, as well as the description section will be a link on where to purchase this. In the event that you wanna purchase this and go that route as opposed to dish soap, Again, this is the better option, but that will be personal preference. Taking a step back in DIYers, that is it. We hope the video helped. Hey, scrolling above right now is a link that takes you to a video that we removed this exact door from the frame and put it out on the deck and replaced the lower rollers. So in the event that you try everything we just did in this video and no luck, you're still having a hard time opening and closing your sliding glass door, Time to replace the lower rollers. So definitely check that out. In addition, down below in the comments section, as well as the description section, will be a link on how to fix a latch or lock that is not locking. In other words, we show you how to adjust this little hook so it can actually get inside the mount here and grab a hold of it and properly lock. So definitely check that out. Again, down below in the comments section, as well as the description section, and that is locked. 
From here, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. All right, DIYers down at the workstation and mom and dad's jet ski in-house for DIY repair videos. That will be fun. Coming around, we've got our DIY channel skateboards that we custom made. However, it is time to clean our glass. Down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, is a link to purchase this product. It continues to work perfectly for us. We definitely recommend it. Thanks again for watching.